Welcome back to Timber Bonus. Things are going well, but I mustn't get cocky. But it's easier said than done. Because helping us survive, it is the great Timber Bonus. They are our beavers. Nah, I never knew that. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. We are on season six, episode four. Now we're playing hard mode on the smallest map in the game, Diorama, and we're actually doing quite well. You can see nearly all this green area is planted up either with trees or with crops. Up here, food looking pretty... Actually, food's quite low. Why are we only eating berries? Where's all the other food? We've got lots of ingredients. We're just not using them for anything. Anyway, the other important resource is water, and that's pretty good. Although you may notice we've just entered a dry season, which is eight days long. Oh, look, it's cycle six, day nine. Six, nine. Nice. But yeah, since it is the dry season, I sort of... I need to be careful not to pump out this water here. Because basically, in this game, everything grows with, like... Well, you need water nearby. Otherwise, things will dry out and it will end up looking like it dried out and died through lack of water. So more important than keeping my beavers alive is actually keeping my trees and plants alive. So what I may do, we've got Montana Williams and Jonas Swanson. Uh, they are very experienced at working their wood and turning it into juice for others to drink. Uh, but I think I may have to pause both of them uh, to prioritize keeping this area green so my, my food supply doesn't run out. Um, I think I'll probably keep pumping down here this is like oh actually do i want to because then all these trees might die yeah, actually i'm gonna pause oh i don't know if i've prepared for this <laughs> I don't know if I've prepared. I mean, actually, we did prepare. If you remember last time, we built the mega dam. So we've stored all this excess. And these are adjustable floodgates. So I can let more water out here as and when. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm trying to prioritize building these buildings up here. Because we stacked this thing full of the log pumpers. And then we can sort of use this as a reservoir. You may remember, we also need to work on these. Can people actually reach them? Sorry, I say people. I meant beavers. That was very offensive for you guys. But yeah, they can. I've got paths. I got steps. So we can build that. That is all good. I think then we just we just need to make sure we survive this dry season. And then hopefully we should be good. I'm going to try and work out how I can increase my food production. Yeah, let's just have a little look at my beavers. Yeah, we got quite a few. We got quite a few homeless beavers. That's if they've got like that symbol rather than that one. Um, and looking at this, actually, I'm seeing sort of a correlation between those that have a house getting 20% life expectancy to those that don't having plus zero percent so although i'm trying to build all this stuff with my wood i feel like perhaps building another barrack would be sensible now on this map we are going to have limited space for building so i need to think about how i'm going to be able to build like vertically and just looking at the barracks this one i i put a pub on top perhaps not sensible but i'm thinking if we come into housing down here we get another barrack if i shove that in that gap oh it's like tetris du -du -du. So yeah, we've shoved that there because then we have, if I put a little path down there, we have an entrance to that. But then on top, look, we've got all this space. I'm sort of thinking if I were to shove my next barrack there as well, like that, then suddenly we are gaining like land we can build on. The joys of stacking buildings. And we're going to need to do that in this playthrough because as we grow bigger and bigger, space is going to get more and more limited. And a lot of these buildings, like all these sort of industrial ones you can't actually stack them because they got like bits and bobs floating out the top of them so yeah i'll super low prioritize that one but then i'll i think i might high prioritize this one i feel like that extra 20 percent could help us straight away all right in the meantime i did actually have a comment about like the the farming side so at the moment i think i've got this farmhouse with bradley mccain and omkar in uh, and they're just trying to like keep on top of all these crops i mean all these crops over here i'm not really using i'm not doing anything with the soybeans i'm not doing anything with the canolas i should perhaps Perhaps look to do that. I feel like I need more beavers though. I've only got 20. You'll notice down here though, as beavers grow up like William Rockford has, uh, we can we can put them to work straight away. However, beavers do die of old age. And But yeah, apparently the best sort of ratio for farming is to have two of them prioritized on planting and then a third one. So if I come to this farmhouse, which is paused, I can unpause that and just put one beaver in there. There you go. Baby William Rockford. He's seven years old. But if we prioritize him to harvesting... Then have I done that the right way around? We may need to like measure like how long this takes. So sorry, beavers. I'm about to do some major, some major micromanagement. Right. So time it. One, two, 
20. 20 seconds to harvest something. Now we just need to find one of these beavers that's going to plant. All right, so one of you, there's a spot there. All right, ready, ready, ready. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I may have done these the wrong way around. So you guys, you want to prioritize harvesting because that takes way longer. Okay, so that should be an efficient way to get my food going. But yeah, as I said before, I do need to sort of try and work out how to use these soybeans, how to use the canola. So let's have a look in food. Yeah, so we know we can use our fermenter to take six soybeans and one canola oil and turn that into 20 fermented soybeans. That is a lot of food. You remember up here, we have this very, very efficient looking building. This is our fermenter um, and occasionally we do turn it on to make the cassavas. These are the cassavas by the way. But yeah, we can ferment them in here very easily. We don't need anything else. But you'll notice with the soybeans, we need that canola oil. So that's where these yellow guys come in. These are the canolas. So we need to turn those into oil. And that requires coming down to here and unlocking this, the oil press. Now, I don't currently have the science to unlock that. I've only got 92 science. I need 120. We can get that pretty easily, though. The main issue is it needs 20 gears, 20 planks, and 20 logs. Although, yeah, we are actually... We've got 11 gears on us. We are making gears. Yeah, that is down to Travis Piper in here. Though he's only working at 50% efficiency because we need more power. Now, we currently have one shamer in, in the shaming wheel. RCE is secretly an architect. Uh, you'll notice the other ones, like, they're, they're empty. I'm struggling to find beavers that want to be shamed. So what I thought I'd do, perhaps I should change the name from shaming wheel. Well, not... Not of this one. This this guy deserves to be shamed. But like this one. Yes. Yes, I think that's what we'll do. I hereby declare that this wheel shall be renamed the Wheel of Honor. Thank you, commenter, that suggested that. And from this day forth, if you're chosen to attend the Wheel of Honor, it will be a great honor. All right, that was our king or queen or whatever. The person in charge. Okay, it was me. It was me with a slightly slightly unusual voice. Anyway, let's let's up the priority of this wheel. And oh, Vespion, age seven. You can see down here, Vespion has just grown up. But congratulations, you're the world's first honor wheel user. It is a very great honor. All right, we can pause these three jobs. They were chopping trees up here, but like, well, not only are all the trees dead, but they're all out of range now because you can't even reach those ones. Now, we've already got quite a few logs stacked. Although I say quite a few, that's like all of our logs because we've only got 45. We need more logs. Aha, look down here. We have loads of trees. Are they all in range? If I click on those. Yeah, they are. Destiny, Atwood, and Kengineer Buddy doing a reasonable job. I feel like I probably need like another tree chopper because there's a lot of wood down here or like potential wood. Meanwhile, we're halfway through that dry season. How is everything looking? I mean, water, not too bad. 145. I feel like we might be okay. We may want to turn on the, the log pumpers, perhaps let some water out of these. But oh, actually, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. If we just glitch through, you can see how much water we've got in here. Not a lot at all. So what I'm thinking, we're halfway through. So we know that when that was full, it lasted with one person pumping their log for anity. It lasted the entire entire four days. So let's lower these. Let's let some water out. There comes the flood. But yeah, this should fill up this first area. Actually, let me raise that a little bit. We are we are flooding at this end. I raise it back up. But yeah, it should yeah come over this dam. And then that's going to fill up down here. If if this fills up and we lose water out the bottom of this dam, then yeah, we did we did let too much water out. Is that going to happen? Okay, yeah, it's happening. Oops. We have lost some water. Oh, no, it's flooding down. <laughs> no, don't get swept away. Who's that? Admiral Radio. HD. Don't get swept away, mate. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, man. Actually, wait. Did that? That didn't fill up anything. Look, you can still see the straws. The water level's gone down if it... Wait, what? Hang on. Sorry, let... Hang on. Hang on a sec. I let water down into here and the water level went down. It like... It washed away the water. So do I need to... Oh, no. That's like all of our water gone. Look, I've let out all that water and we have... It's dried up down here. Oh, what? How has that happened? I don't understand. Anyway, we better pause that. So basically everything that's brown to like all of these, they're all going to die. I think though, if you click on these, they last. Yeah, because they're oaks, because they're big. They are drying out and will die. But look, in 16 days. Right, okay. Oh man, this did not go as planned. I'll tell you what, we need to really, really finish this dam. So next next dry season, we can raise these floodgates all the way. Let's up the priority of these. Oh, and by the way, look, look, our, our barracks is in, which means all these beavers, they have a place to stay. And yes, everyone gets that 20% life expectancy bonus. They're, 
There are a couple of homeless beavers though. Jonas Swanson, sorry mate. Uh, Vespian and William as well. You're both homeless, which means you're not going to live as long. Sorry about that. All right, over in our industrial area, since we now have three shape, sorry, not shaming wheels, wheel of honors. I mean, two wheel of honors, one, one shaming wheel. Now we can probably turn on the fermenter. So piranity is gone in there. That will get us some more food because look, food is really running out. Oh, I've just realized as well, my two, my two farming beaver solution thing, this farm, it doesn't stretch up there. So all of those aren't getting replanted. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, up this way by the dam, you can see they are actually doing their best to get that dam in now. There you go, there's one piece in. So as long as we can survive this, we should be good for next season. Oh, look, and over this side, all the platforms up top are nearly done so that is good because then we can get the water pumps on oh, okay i think i think i'm actually okay i think i'm <laughs> i think i'm all right i'm not sure we now have some fermented cassavas as part of our diet so the food is going up water we're on 98 2.2 six days remaining i reckon we're we're gonna be okay maybe now, i need to raise the priority of these if my dam's gonna be worthwhile and with 0.5 days remaining we've still got 30 water yes that was almost like perfect survival strategy hat on the back for matt oh look little baby brahma nation has grown up so we can put them to work doing something not entirely sure what but look the drought has ended water is returning it's glorious and not a moment too soon we're down to just 10 water now i'm gonna leave these floodgates open for now just to get the water down as quick as possible let's turn on that water pump oh brahma nation first job of your life is to work your wood your parents must be very proud but yeah as this fills up i want this to overtop so down here the water returns lovely we'll unpause all of these water pumpers because we've got to stock up until the next next dry season happens. All right, and then with water pouring off the edge, I think that means I'm in a position where I can raise these. I think ideally they want to go up to 2.5 height. Oh, look how fast it's filling up. Is it watertight? Yes, it's watertight. Okay, look how much water we're storing. That happens so quick. Remember, because these are adjustable, we can let water out throughout the dry season now. Oh, look at this. The water pumps are going in. Everyone's building so quickly. Oh, and I've just realized we can't actually get a path to that front one. Oh, to any of the... Oh, what have I done? Yeah, I need a platform there a platform there and i can't put a platform there because we need to dig up that bush but once they're in i can then just path like along this top edge and then we'll be ready for four log pumpers because yeah if i can move my log pumping from like down here to up here then this is like more space for planting and stuff oh this is good i'm actually i'm actually quite proud of myself here i think we're looking good slightly concerned about food though i feel like what i might do let's unpause this breeding pod we're going for three breeding pods i think two only allows me to have between like 20 25 beavers so if i have an extra one that should get me like above 30 and then maybe we can do like the oil thing and get these soybeans because that will be a lot of food yeah, and at the moment it's just like using up space for nothing i think i'll prep by getting some warehouses down there because remember i can build on top of these as well stacking buildings is good but this one can store canola seeds this one can store the soybeans and then i think i need liquid storage to hold the the canola oil so what i might do because like all these water storages they're not all being used i might just change a couple to like the oil and then now we have enough research points we can say yes i'll spend 120 of them unlocking the oil press and then we can shove this down in our industrial area we just need to make sure that like we're, we're touching because that's how we share power between all these buildings yeah right if i delete those reconnect the path like that and around the back and i got a nice space there where we'll be touching the side of that building like that so that's where our our oil press will go and then we can just change this fermenter to rather than do the cassavas to do the fermented soybeans in the meantime up this way by our dam i just got a path along this edge like that and then we've got four new log pumpers i'm not going to delete these for now i'm just going to pause them if i pause that i can up the priority up here lag them off you're now pumping your log in the new reservoir yeah we're just waiting for this platform to be built so we can do that look there's there's a beaver with the planks already jonah swanson doing the hard graft right then it's the next morning you can see this path is now in i need to up the priority of these because look up here 
In 2.9 days, there's a drought incoming. Panic, panic. So basically, I just need to pump all my wood. So I've upped the priority of all of these. Everyone's going to be pumping their logs. I'm going to actually unpause this one. We've just got to focus on water. We need to we need to fill up all this water storage. And in the meantime, perhaps try and get this done. Do we have... Do we need 20 gears to do that. This is the oil press, by the way. Oh, we got 30 gears. Okay, so we can actually get this done. That could help our food situation. Because not going to lie, a little bit worried about the food, especially as I've just turned on my extra breeding pod. That's going to be more beavers, which means we need more food. Yeah, I need to I need to high prioritize this like I do everything. Oh, look at them all. Build. I love when my beavers work together. It's so satisfying. Like, look at these guys all pumping their logs in harmony. It's a, it's a beautiful sight. It really is a beautiful sight. <laughs> all right, so looking at the water storage, nearly all of them are filled up now. I think I need I need more jobs here yeah, because at the Wheel of Honors, are they both empty? They're both empty. I need to, we are upping the priority of the Wheel of Honors. Wait, RC is secretly an architect. Why have you gone into the Wheel of Honor? He's literally just jumped out the shaming wheel to go into the Wheel of Honor. Shame. 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 They're now in there. Let's up the priority of the Wheel of Honor. So Riddle. How old is Riddle? Oh, Riddle's only eight. The youngest person to be recommended to the Wheel of Honor. Congratulations, Riddle. But yeah, now we are creating oil. We're using those canola seeds to make canola oil. And then next door in this place, I've changed the the recipe to fermented soybeans. We should be turning six soybeans into 20 fermented ones. That is going to be a lot of food. And I'll tell you what, in this gap, I might shove some extra storage. And this is where we're going to store like the goods for this. So they're literally next door. All right, we should be good. I'll tell you what, I'm going to I'm gonna add. Oh, no, that's why. Because the farmhouse was only on that priority, not super priority. We were we were beaver down. Yeah, but I need to I need to add another beaver. So Kimberly Sevens, you're both farmers now. Yeah, I came up with an ingenious solution because this one covers everything. I've changed these two guys. They're gonna be the planters. These ones be the harvesters, and then hopefully these ones can just like sort this end by themselves. All right. So if we fast forward, oh look at look at the water. Okay, the water is absolutely fine. Let's start let's start pausing some of these water pumpers. We don't need that many. And oh look. The, house, the housing is done over here. Oh, no. And I think because I didn't connect it to, to anything with parts, we had, even though we had the, the housing completed, I think no one slept in that last night. We still had homeless beavers. Oh, no. What's wrong with you, mate? Travis Hyper, what you've done? You've hurt your foot. Oh, no. All right. Well being, we need, we're going to need a medical bed. I need 80 sites. Oh, I've only got 85 sites. We're going to have to unlock it, though. Poor Travis. He's injured. <laughs> It looked like someone's weed in, like, the water supply. That is the canola oil, though. Do not worry. All right, let's shove a medical bed. I mean, I guess there on top of that. We're trying to build vertically, remember? And then before I forget, we'll just path this up. I'm thinking if I go straight ahead, that gives me sort of all this space to build. And, like, not just ground level. If I build all of this barracks or, like, other stackable buildings, then we can build... Like on top. No, oh dear, I've just noticed. Look, we're nearly out of berries. We've only got nine berries. Okay, I need to get a beaver in here. Oh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to high prioritize it. I'm high prioritizing every job at the moment. That will pick those berries. The ones over this way, no one's there. Yeah, because we're gonna need the berries for the the breeding pods. Ideally, I want to move my diet away from that. Oh no, look at the look at the logs. We've only got two logs. Oh, I'm gonna have to high prioritize this. Vesp Wait, Vespian, you'd meant to be doing the other job. Oh, Montana Williams doing the berry picking instead. Fair enough. Oh, no one's planting up here. I right, I need to plant. I'll tell you what, let's swap birch. We don't want birches anymore. We'll just go with oaks. And I'll tell you what, let's say all of those front ones should be oaks. I'll keep the pines up there because you never know if you'll need pines. I prioritize this? Do I? I <laughs> I probably shouldn't, but we're out of wood. I mean, I think we're more out of wood just because there's no one to chop trees down. So when we wake up in the morning, yes, we are going to have at least one person chopping logs down, which is good. So that is the drought. Let's raise the floodgates up so no water's escaping. And I think I just keep these four running, right? I mean, maybe I slow it down. Maybe we just do two. I'll pause two of them because I really, I need jobs somewhere else. I really do. Ah, <laughs> oh, the medical bed's up and running. Looks like they, they have healed some people, so that's good. How are things looking? I mean, water is going down. Cannot deny that. Logs are going up though. That's good. Food is also going up. Yeah, look at the oil. The oil is going up, which means we're we are pumping the balls of this building, making lots of soybeans. Are you getting enough oil? Oh no, look. Look at the efficiency of the building. I need more I need more wheels of honor, I think. <laughs> Although, how can I get more power again? Yeah, an engine. So I've got logs. I've got 
gears. Oh, I'm going to need steel for that. Perhaps that's where our next venture will be. So I think there are some other things I did want for steel, wasn't there? Yeah, the hydroponic garden so I can stack food. Oh, there we go. Here we go. All my beavers. Yeah, they're all in. We don't have any homeless beavers anymore. Now, by the way, in case you're wondering, all the names of the beavers, they're all based on my Patreons. Yeah, they're just picked at random now. Uh, if you're interested in joining Patreon, we are doing exclusive videos on there now. We've been doing Satisfactory and the next video game that's going to be a series on there. It's going to be Space Engineers. Now, remember, you get access to all the backlog whenever you join. So, uh, if you're interested in watching any of those series, be sure to check it out. Link in the description. Anyway, now we have a bit of an issue. Are we? I mean, that is. That did just sprout in front of my eyes. I'm just wondering, are we Are we out of, like, oil now? I got quite a big area down here. Yeah, I can't see me needing all these log pumpers. Let's get rid of both of those. Let's plant some canola like there i guess and then soybean down there oh they're, they're planting already those those beavers they work so hard like, why are you sat on your butt bob the engineer what's going on they have power they have logs are they full of planks do we not have any plank storage? Yeah, look, the plank storage is full. Okay, well, since we have gears there, I might put a plank one next to it, like a big one. Ooh, I, could, I could do a very big one. All right, controversial. I'm going to put it in the middle. And then I'm going to have a path coming down this edge just so I can get a building there, like a small warehouse. And then I guess I can just cover this path in platforms to build on top. Yeah, I'll do it like that. But yeah, we need to store planks in there and what can i store in this one i mean maybe some dandelions why not i've just i've just realized we're in a drought we're like six days through a drought seven days through a drought i didn't even realize that's like how well prepared i was how successful this colony is i'm so proud of my beavers yeah next time i think we need to start tearing this apart this is the ruins this will give us scrap metal so we need to get some metal blocks so we can get some like get some engines down here so we're less reliant on the wheel of shames Flash honors, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, I think for now, successful day again. I'm actually starting to wonder whether the hundreds of hours I've played this game for actually made me better at it. <laughs> So like this could be the first season where our beavers actually thrive. But yeah, I think for now, I'll say peace, love and synchronized log pumping. Bye, guys.